Good morning guys, thanks for stopping back by the channel. Right here with me, Kyle, the Rust Belt Mechanic. And today's the day that everybody's been waiting for. See what is up with the Duramax truck. What's been going on. Uh, I've taken it down to extreme diesel performance 4x4 uh, down in Fairborn, Ohio. Chris down there is a really awesome guy. He's got lots of years of experience in doing these things. I know you guys can, you know, hate on me all I want. You have a mechanic who's taking it to somebody else to do stuff. Well, this lift kit, it's something that's very, very intricate. It's going to take a lot of things that I often, you know, kind of shy away from just because I don't have that experience in that area. One being welding. I, I suck at it. I've tried it once or twice before. I just I can't do it very well, so I'd rather leave it up to a professional rather than have him come down to my shop and bring it in. We're just doing kind of, you know, a trade for goods. So I'm all one for helping him out. He's all one for helping me out. It's a good old time at that point. So truck's down there, and we're going to do some filming on the whole installation process. I'll get you some little snippets of how that process went, the hiccups that, we're gonna, that we uh, kind of ran into along the way, and all in general, how awesome this freaking truck is. You guys are gonna love it. Stay tuned. This whole portion of the build started off when, you know, I just got this idea where I, I just needed to do something extra to the truck. I've always wanted a lifted truck, and this is something that I finally have come to fruition that I can actually do this. This can be something that is mine and is going to be very unique. So that's why I ended up going with what I did with the uh, BDS lift kit, with the fuel wheels and tires that I chose, and in general the truck whole scheme that I've gone with with the Raptor bedliner. It's mine, it's something that's very unique and something that you don't see very often. I don't like being that quid pro quo guy who just does a build just to do a build, you know, just because I'm bored. No. I want it to do it and I want it to be done right. So when I took my truck down to Extreme uh, Diesel and 4x4 down in Fairborn, uh, I gave Chris kind of a list of things. I told him I'm going to be a pain in the ass. I'm not going to be that customer that just gives you my truck and says, go at it, here's my money. You know, I don't want to know the process, I just want the finished product to be awesome. I pretty much said, I'm going to be a pain in the ass. I'm going to be the guy who's going to hang around. I'm going to be the one who's going to help you out if you really need assistance in this. And, you know, one night we stood there till like 1 in the morning and we were trying to get these things figured out. When you're in a lift kit like this, you're going to run into little issues. The lift kits, they're made for a year range of trucks. So it's not going to fit exactly right, but you can get it damn close. But those little damn close spots are the spots that I didn't really have time for in the shop atmosphere that I'm in. I'm working at a dealership. Time is money. I'm not the big boss there. I, I do the shop work. I flat rate. So I can't say, oh, I just need to take up one of these bays for like three and a half weeks. No, I, I don't have that luxury of doing it on my own. So that's why I ended up taking it down to him. And when he runs into those little things, you have to have that time and that ability to, oh, we're gonna make something work. You gotta weld an extra plate in. You gotta make a bracket because these traction bars don't fit for this vehicle, which is another thing that you'll see later on that we ended up running into. They don't bolt on just right. So you'll run into issues. If you have lift kits like this or you're thinking about these lift kits, you're going to run into issues. One of the other big ones that I, I don't know that I had told anyone else, we had issues with tie rod ends. The outer tie rod ends, we wanted to go with a big PPE outer tie rod end. Those things are beefy and badass, but with the BDS lift kit, evidently, that doesn't say in the instructions, but they are not able to be used. Even with the factory tie rod ends, you have to tow them all the way in just to be able to get any kind of fitment to it. Otherwise, the tow is going to be way out on both sides. So we had to end up going back with a factory tie rod end. Kind of sucks, but we're going to figure something out later on down the road. 
Well, enough of my chattering. You guys really want to see the build, so let's go through what was done to the truck. So along with all this, what else we have to top it all with? With an MBRP 4 inch exhaust system. When you unbox it, it's like a whole bunch of piping. But it's going to be a whole big old box of badass is what it's going to be. We'll get this put up in. Starting out here in the front end, we the first thing you come to is going to be that big BDS skid plate underneath. We had that coated with the Raptor liner. We had the front cross brace done with the Raptor liner. Right here, we got the secondary skid plate and skid bar done in the bed, bed liner and the rear bracket done as well. You can see this BDS kit, what I really like about it is it hides the torsion bars. So the torsion bars do not sit below the frame rail. Instead of having a bracket that drops them like way down, down in the back and uses the factory spots, they use a bracket that goes onto the lower control arms in the front. The torsion bars then go onto that. And new hardware that tucks everything up into here. So it's all in the factory locations there. As always, comes with new hardware everywhere. It has spacers here for the front axles, drops the front diff down, Fox 2.0 shocks, a dual steering stabilizer, sway bar links. There's that shiny new 4 inch MBRP exhaust. Let's step to the back here. Has the drop for the K 
carrier bearing for the rear drive shaft. And then the custom part that Chris over at XBDP had to do was these uh, braces, the front braces for the recoil traction bars. They really are not made for a quad cab long bed. Called down to the uh, suspension shop and they're like, ah, well, you know, BDS, we kind of make these things for a wide variety of vehicles, so some custom modification may need to be done, which is kind of a BS answer. But, you know, that's kind of the name of the game you play when you do this kind of custom stuff. So the bracket for the front here had to be, we welded it on, Chris welded it on and had it nice and evened up because this body mount was in the way. So there was very little modification needed to be done, but he went ahead and got her done. You have to measure these traction bars out to a certain length to make sure that they are working correctly. Recoil traction bars. And then, back to the Fox 2.0. Shocks in the back. Spacer blocks, heavy duty hardware comes with all these. The brackets for the recoil traction bars go on to the bottom of the U-bolt brackets for the spacer here in the back. And then there's a spacer for a bump stop. My truck, for some reason, didn't have bump stops. What I think is the uh, previous owner had air suspension at some time, air helpers for towing like a fifth wheel. And just that's where the air suspension sat. So he didn't think to put the uh, bump stops back in. So I'm gonna have to get a set of those. That won't be too bad. There we go. That's pretty much it for the underside of the truck. She's one sexy beast. That's about all I've got for you guys today. This project has been absolutely amazing. We are just kind of getting started on it. I know we've done a whole lot to it, but I've got a whole lot more stuff rattling around in the brain up here. Got some big ideas for it. We're gonna be doing some more performance things. We're gonna be doing add-ons. Uh, we'll be uh, touching up to the exhaust, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff. So you guys have to make sure that you stay subscribed for that. Stay tuned and make sure you turn on that bell notification so you get notified when I come out with cool new content. A big thank you again and shout out to the other guys who helped me out with this. Uh, Chris over Extreme Diesel Performance 4x4. 
he is awesome. He was able to hook us up and get this thing dialed in just right with the lift kit. And then ordering the lift kit, make sure you guys don't forget about Jason over at Bad Attitude Off-Road. Uh, I will leave the link down below to those guys and their shops for their lift kits and for their uh, performance needs for your diesel truck if you're in the uh, Dayton area or such around. Also be sure to check me out over on Instagram. Do have my account over there, over at Rust Belt Mechanic. I've just started kind of picking up things there, just trying to figure out this whole social media game, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. Thanks again guys for stopping by the channel again. As always, you guys stay awesome and we will catch you in the next upload.